yesterday. I'm minding my own business. Hazmat Shemaev, Jack Hermanson are doing a face-off, and there's a scale behind them. Now, I'm giving you the visual instead of just saying Jack Hermanson and Hazmat Shemaev weighed off, and I saw him. No, no, because why would they weigh off? They're not in the UFC tonight. They're not fighting anywhere tonight. They don't look angry with each other. I haven't read headlines. I don't know where this is going to be. I don't know how to go out there and watch it. That can't be a weigh-in. I deduced I was right. I went on about my day. Woke up this morning. Somebody sent me to my Twitter inbox the match. So Hermason, who goes about 200 and about 195 pounds, is going to take on Chemayev. Nobody knows what Chemayev weighs, but I will tell you Chemayev was not smaller than Jack. So this whole Chemayev is going to go to 170 and stay at 170. Okay, good. But the sooner he figures that out, the longer and more fun his career will be. Chemayev is a big man. That's my biggest takeaway is Chemayev is a big man. Now, we have never had, I really encourage you to go and find this clip. I will try to find it. My partner will try to stick it in our comment section so you guys can watch it right here. But not all wrestling works. Not all grappling works. Some wrestling and some grappling has such a shockingly low level of success in MMA that it's hard to even incorporate that in as one of your brethren grappling arts. Judo, just by example. But judo has never had anybody reach any level of success within the sport. And don't tell me about Ronda and don't tell me about Kayla. I got it broad stroke, but there has been no other women and there has been no other men to not only do judo and win a world championship, to do judo and fight for a world championship or even a contender's match. Well, this guy's the top judo guy. If he just beats this guy, he will then get to go fight for the title. It hasn't happened. It hasn't happened. And that's a little bit of a surprise because judo has something great on its side. Great that wrestling doesn't, but wrestling gets all the credit. That one thing is the stance. And if you go watch Chemayev and you watch Jack and you watch them wrestle, they're bent over. They're not standing straight up. They're bent over. This is called freestyle wrestling. So a freestyle and a collegiate wrestler has always had a home within mixed martial arts. How far do they go? Well, the ones that go on to be champions, the great, great wrestlers, the ones you look at, man, that guy is fantastic at MMA wrestling. They know Greco-Roman. Greco-Roman, Sambo, as uh, Khabib likes to say it, straight up and down. So now you don't have to change your posture at all. So when I'm watching a very good wrestler like Chemayev go out in MMA and hit a double A takedown, four opponents, three of the same shot, three times they succeeded, nobody he's ever gotten down has ever gotten up. I, of course, has to sit back and go, wow, he's pretty good at that double A takedown. Wow, Chemayev, pretty good at controlling, guys. I can't give you a grade in A, B, C, D. I can't give you a, a belt system. Black, brown, purple, white. I can't do it based on that. I've got to see some activity. I have to see some scrambles. Like when I saw, when I saw Justin Gaethje picked up off the air, rotate his body, hit a leg plaque, a pass, and mentally break Michael Chandler. I have to see some of that stuff to know how good of a wrestler are you. Because we have other good wrestlers that are good at getting takedowns, but only one. And a wrestler will set up a takedown to get closer to the second, and it's the third one that they plan to score with. So how's this do with Chemayev? I need to know if he can go upper body. I don't think when two guys are bent over that this little double leg that we're seeing in MMA is going to work. The double leg works because one guy's straight up and down. Jack, who's not from a country of wrestlers, just wants an opportunity, still going to be a good, solid body that we know has an understanding and is a phenomenal athlete. Well, there's something called a leg wrap. It's where you're standing straight up. You put in what's called a side wizard. You take your free leg, you wrap his, and you wrap him. And this is exactly what Shemayev did. Extremely high level. Extremely high level. This is how he opens the show. Four points. Gets him down, scramble, come back up their feet, front headlock, headlock for two. They didn't give him the exposure. They did give him the two when he spun around. Comes back to a feet. But now he starts looking human. Shemayev starts looking human about this point. He starts missing attacks. He starts breathing deep a couple of times. He starts slowing down and do what's called managing a match. I'm up by seven. There's three minutes left. I no longer need to score on you. I just need to run the clock out. Great. A lot of the greats do it. I wasn't expecting to see it from Chemayev. And if I, if I am looking to be critical, and for nothing else, that's going to glare off the page. 
So now, all of a sudden, Hermanson realized this guy's not trying to score any more points. Hermanson gets some offense going, which basically formed the same position, except now it's double overhooks. Double overhooks is, is a position you would never teach a kid to wrestle in, and you would never want to wrestle in it yourself unless you are an elite level athlete. I am talking Yoel Romero. I am talking now Hazmat Shemaev because he did wrestle out of it. Soak it in wet, gave up position, forced it, stepped the corner, kept the hips up, boom, sent Jack flying all through the air. Another four-pointer. Uh, wrestling match, if you get to 10, the match is over. This one had like its own rules to keep the crowd entertained because it was roughly 13, 14, 15 to zero. But it was the way that Shemaev did it. If he went out there and got a double or he showed a low single or he turned it into a leg lace for a whole bunch of points, okay, great. I, I guess we had something to fun, fun to see there. That's not what he did. He used extremely high-level techniques. He chose to do them, which means he is brave. He is confident. When Shemayev got around his last opponent, picked him up in the air, and turns and has a conversation with Dana White. Is that unsportsmanlike? Sure. Was it rude? Yeah, you bet it was. Is it a display of absolute confidence? Of absolute calm. I just got my hand. I know everything I need to know about this guy. And it works like that in wrestling. You think this and he thinks that and the time and space go away. Once you have your hands on one another, you will know very quickly what side of the bread's got the butter. And in this case, it was Chemai. And he picked the guy up. He had a conversation with Dana, put him to the mat. Guy never got up again, except for when the fight was over and Chemai is getting ready to stand on somebody's shoulders. It was one of those situations, but now I get to see the athlete. I did not know this. I knew he had a pretty good double leg. I think his double leg's better than most people because he'll do what's called the reshot. He'll hit the first double just to get in position to suit the second double. He doesn't finish the second double because he's got their opponents out there knowing what they're doing. He comes to the third shot. The first shot sets up the second shot. You finish on the third. That's what the great ones do. The good ones don't. Being good in the sport of MMA, okay, fine. But I, I, can, I can take all of that from you if I just cause you one scramble because now I know you're not in condition. Every wrestler would agree with me. Shot sets up the next shot, sets up the one that you're going to finish with. Most wrestlers, one shot. That's because they don't have the cardio in. They don't have the time in. That squeeze isn't worth the juice if they're not sure they can get on top. That is not what Shemayev did. Even in this small wrestling match, Jack Hermanson is a straight-up badass. Looks strong as can be. I, I said he weighs about 194. Guys, he could weigh closer to 200 pounds. And he wasn't, he wasn't bigger than Shemayev. That was another takeaway. Tremaya was two inches taller. Tremaya was huge. They're talking about him getting down to 170 pounds, I guess. I guess, but why are we having that talk? Are, are, are him and Usman boys somewhere that we don't know about? I mean, it would seem as though 185 pounds is a pretty compelling weight. I'm not going to get my way on this. That's not the direction that this is going. But I do have a new piece of evidence, one to bring to you and tell you. And it'll be right here on my page. I'll post the, the, the link for you guys. Go watch him. He does some really good wrestling. But not only with the really good wrestling, he's very tactical and he shows a real confidence. Chemayev's understanding of wrestling was fully on display when he took on Jack.